Hey y'all, it's Kathy, and welcome to the bathroom. As you can see, I am on the mountain this month, and I thought we would do a quick get ready for me. I'm going to go take the boys out for a walk, and I thought we'd get ready real quick and try some stuff that I've recently received from Tamu. So, if you haven't heard of Tamu, Tamu is an online marketplace that you can find anything you could possibly imagine other than food there's there's no food on the website but um i'll have everything listed in the link below that i'm showing you today i did do a haul on this recently and i don't think that video is not going to go up until after this video so um i'll leave it linked down in the description after the video goes up yeah that's what we'll do but I did receive, first off, I've already washed my face, and I did get this from Tamu a while back. This has got some of that um, snail in it. Snails, I don't know what it says. Anyway, it did look better. It did look really prettier than that. It had all the little swirlies in it. However, on the airplane ride, it really got jazzled up i don't know if they still have this available if they do i'll leave it listed in the link down below as well but i almost forgot we can't put that on yet because where is it i also got oh here it is this uh instant tighten and lift so i wanted to get this and put it on that pesky, pesky wrinkle right there, which it says after you apply it to skin, clean skin, you don't want to make a, an expression for two minutes. And to me, that seems like such a long time not to make a facial expression. But we're going to try it. I don't, I can't see, so I have to turn my head. I do think it's doing something, but like I said, it just seems like such a long time not to make no facial expressions. But it does feel like it's tightening up. I put some on my crow's feet here as well. That's where I see it the most and on my frown lines, but that pesky wrinkle right there, I'm not, I think in that, I'm not seeing no results from that. Anyway. Okay. Let's just do the, this one next. I have been really liking this. At first, I was kind of like, eh. It's kind of gimmicky. But I, I am liking it. As long as I rub it in. Good. I don't want to feel it sitting on top of my skin. And I put some on my neck. This, I picked this up at the Dollar Tree LA Bold Lash Mascara. I did not like it. It, it completely irritated my eyes my eyes were watering and then they got all goopy and they were red and i just did not like it and then this is the uh, beauty glaze liquid foundation i have just been wearing powder because i don't want it to crease but i did pick this up it is in a pump some on my hand. My hand gets all the action. My needles. A little bit more squirt. Might be a tad bit too light for me. And that's kind of shocking because as a redhead, I am always just about going with the light shade. So it's kind of 
odd that I would think that. My hair this morning, it did not want to do nothing right. Nothing. I think that was a good shade. Yeah, I, I do. Hit the nose. I think that's a good shade. And then I just already have this um, powder here. I'm going to go ahead and set it with the powder. This is the eyeliner that I received from Tamu. I'm going to try it. It's not as dark as I want it to be, but it is okay. It does say it's waterproof. So we'll see if it's still on my eyes this evening. Because my eyes will water. But this is in the, the color black. And then I am going to put a little eyeshadow just underneath my waterline. And that's all the eyeshadow I'm going to put on. I think we're going to go with this turquoise color right here. This is um, LA Colors. I didn't get this from Tegu. This is something I've, I had already had. I think that I'm going to put a little bit of the eyeliner that I already head on just because that wasn't as dark as I would like for it to be okay and then I'm gonna go in with the um Wiki Beauty Great Lash Waterproof Mascara from Tamu. this is a really big thick bottle the brush is really thick. So let's see if I can handle this brush. Now I do have your typical redhead eyelashes. They're, they're not that dark. Okay. I do like the brush. I'm kind of surprised. I was afraid it would be too thick. To handle and this little bottle doesn't really set up straight <laughs> I have my glasses on so I can't see there it is okay. and that's all I'm going to do for my eyes because I'm kind of a simple girl simple woman um, and then I picked up from Tamu this lip extreme volume um, lip Plumper. I'm going to put some of that on my lips. I don't know that it does any plumping. It does have a cinnamon kind of spicy tingling feeling to it. So I don't know about any, if it does actually do some plumping. We should test it and see if I do half of my lips on plumping, half without. <laughs> and then I picked up this lady's perfume. This is a pheromones perfume. I did put this on last night, um, and by the time, which it was several hours later, I could still smell it. So it did last quite a while, and it smells really, really good. It smells so good. And if you don't notice, I've got my gray hairs out here, or that I'm in the club. They're white. They're white. And this is how I cover them up when I'm not coloring my hair. Is I take this bright, this palette, which is mainly of browns, and I just kind of swirl them all together. And I dab it on. Because 
I'm trying to not color my hair. Especially where it's white hair, it makes my hair look like it's there's nothing there. So just kind of dab that on. It works. So, you know. And that, that is all I'm going to do. Let's see. What do I like that I got from Taewoo? I like the Beauty Glaze Foundation. Um, I do like this one that I already had, the One Spring Snail Mucus Moisturizer. Um, the Lip Plumping. The, uh, the Pheromones, the Perfume. And the... Ooh, ooh. It's a, such a thick bottle. The thick lash 24 hour mascara. I could do without the eyeliner. Um, is this it? No, this is it. It didn't go on as dark. As I would have liked it to. I would have liked it to gone on darker. So I could have done without the eyeliner. But the rest of it, I did like. I'm going to pull my hair up. It's a beautiful day here on the mountain. And I'll see you in a minute. And I'll show you what I've been painting. Okay, this is what I've painted so far this week. This is a Easter tile that I painted. Now remember, this is just the first process. It still has to be glazed and fired until it is completed. These The lines were already there. So basically, it's like coloring in a coloring book. You just don't want to go over the lines. The things that I did add was I added these. Um, they're not called dandelions. They're those little things you blow. I can't remember what they're called. They're weeds, but you blow them and they, they fall out. I knew what they were when I painted this, but I added those. Some little ants. Um, the clouds. And the birds are the things that I added that was all, you know, everything else was already printed on here. And then I painted this dragonfly. I painted this dragonfly. It still needs to be glazed and fired as well, but I think it turned out really, really pretty. This is the color I created. I wanted it to be more like a turquoise color. So that's it. And then I think this color, I just made it a little bit, this lighter here. I made this color lighter here, but then I created this color here and here because I wanted it to be more of a turquoise color. Yeah. And then here is the little bunny rabbit that I painted. He does still need to have some lines drawn on him. Um, but when my aunt gets back, she'll help me with that process because you can see it has some, the little whiskers where the lines would need to be in his little mouth right here. The thing that I added onto this was the cheeks. I did add the cheeks. And I did attempt to do the line work on his little eyebrows up here. I'm not as good as my aunt is. She is phenomenal with it. What I painted today is I thought I'd go ahead and get a little jump start on my ornaments that I'm going to paint. These are going to be for um, my boys. I've got one for... Whoops. This one's Brandon's and then this one's... Rockies. Brandon's is more uh, going to be more of a dark gray and Rockies is going to be of a silver gray. So I did have to make the silver a little bit darker so that I could get a dark gray out of it. And then I've got one that I'm going to paint in memory of Brandon's brother, which if I haven't talked to y'all about that, 
a whole lot. Um, but he did pass away this past year. Um, he was, he was murdered. <clears throat> and we're hoping and we're praying for justice for him. But I wanted to paint one in memory of him. Brandon's brother Jr. He's just going to be of a more of a reddish color. I would like to get Brandon's of a black color because his trick is actually black. But um, I, you wouldn't be able to see these other lines on a black truck, so I decided to go with a dark gray. And then Rocky's he actually has a Jeep, and his Jeep is silver, so that's why his is going to be silver. And um, Junior, he had um, a red truck.